changes in your circumstances, in your income, in your business and everything that is revealing your prayer is powerful, incomparable to the things that you and I do, into the things that are happening in the economy of Australia. Your prayer is much, much powerful and important to God. He will never disqualify or He will never, never withhold any good things to those who trust in Him. 19 verse 5 and 6, verse King. There's the word of God. 19, verse 5. Then, then he lay down and sleep under the broom tree. One of the kind of and then but as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, Get up and in. He looked around and saw some bread made on hot stones in a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. Then the angel of the Lord came again and touched him and said, Get up and read some more, for there is a long journey ahead of you. So he got up and ate and drank, and the food gave him enough strength to travel 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. There he came into a cave where he spent the night. And he said to Ahab, Ahab, I want you to prepare yourself. It is my own some food and go to that place and one of the servants of Elijah I want you to see go to that certain place and see what some of the signs there was a piece of cloud come back come back come back until finally there's a change of, of the atmosphere and change of color of the sky and God said begin now and because I will send so much water in the land you know what happened 30 miles if Ahab believed Elijah's word, using a chariot, and Elijah was ahead, running for 30 miles, he beat the chariot, and he was there in the cave, according to the word of the Lord. So you can see three things here, an angel of God feed him in that, before the long journey that he was facing. Now the power and the light of Elijah that shook the kingdom of darkness, that got the attention of the hearts of the whole nation of Israel. This is the thing. We need this power in our prayer today, in your life, in your family, in your work, in, your, in our church, Christ to the nation. Now, the first thing that we can do is, the first question is, what shall we do? Is it the God of Elijah? Is it that the God of the day? I want you to open with me in the book of James chapter 5, 16 to 17. Quick. And so I'll give you the three things here application for our life. The Bible says, chapter 5, beginning from where's that? Uh, chapter 5. Okay, verse 17. Elijah was as human as we are. Take note of that now. That's why what happened before is applicable to all of us today. Elijah, as human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for the next three and a half years. Then he prayed for rain, and down it poured, the grass turned green, and crops began to grow again. And he prayed to the Lord, God, let there be rain. And the whole nation of Israel, they turn back to God. What shall we do? Number one, utilize the sources of your spiritual power, which is praying for your leaders today. Utilize. This is something that is dormant, is not moving. Church, follow this kind of way where we should go. Utilize. The sources of the spiritual power when you pray for leaders in your church. Now, Paul the Apostle in Colossians 4 2 to 4, he said, I'll paraphrase, I want you to study your own Bible study in your home. Pray for us. Pray for us or continue in prayer and watch in the same with that spirit. There is the command of Paul. 
pray for us continually. It is an application to all of us in the beginning stage of the ministry. Continue to pray for us, for the sake to them, and continue to be thankful to God. And it wasn't to say in verse 3, pray for us also, number 2, that God would open unto us a door of utterance. In other words, continue to pray for us. Some doors are closed. Some doors are very, very tight. In some doors, there's no way that we can penetrate. Pray for us in the front line that God would open the door for us. And not only open the door for us, that we can speak the word of God and the testimony of the mysteries of God with boldness. Very important that I may mean, make manifest as I ought to speak. So how is the application of this? Church, we will go to the direction. Intercede for leaders every day in your prayer. Leaders as Elijah, as human as you are. They are vulnerable without the backing of prayer. Intercession for somebody, your leaders, or leaders today, is a daily work of the family to see the fulfillment and the dream and the power in the manifestation of the glory of God in the place that God has placed us. In your family that you are connected with, in your work, without this, oh, well, what happened? You know what would happen? The world is going down. Many Christians will be swayed away by strong current, going to perdition for stitching. Go back to the positive, but by your prayer for the leader who said, pray for us continually. And watch to keep on thanking God of the problem. Pray for us that God will open to us a door and then of utterance to speak the mysteries of God that I may manifest what I ought to speak. Church, you know what happened? We thank God. We need this. Listen to me. We need those people in the front line, you know, Many of you in the profession of, as a lawyer or as a doctor, or we in the front line of evangelism of witnessing praying for the sick, continue to pray for them. Or as Mary Simon doing some distribution of drugs, or you need to contact people, or Philip, or my wife in the world, whoever you are, or Sister June, you know, continue to pray for them. For for me, because my life is not mine. Eh? My wife. My family knows that. In other words, in the front line, you are behind logistic. Your supply of continuous utterance of prayer will give us the stamina and power and boldness and authority and anointing, healings and the miraculous. This two working together, the kingdom of God is being lifted up and people will wow, wow, something is happening because there is the unity in this body, not only on Sunday and Wednesday, but daily. Lord, I don't know what Philip is doing in his job. Continue to bless him. I pray Gina is a fight to those unbelieving friends. Lord, use her in the name of Jesus. When we do that, the enemy in the kingdom of darkness is getting panicky because this church is alive, understanding the incomparable power of intercession. Amen. That's powerful. That's very powerful. Intercede. You know what? Saturday evening, begin out to pray for our service. I like Simon, he's not to tap your shoulder. He's always early in his point, in his desire to cover this parking lot in the place of prayer. I, I know, I saw him there. And he said, oh, you're early, you're beginning to pray. Saturday evening, begin to pray for our services. Not movie or night, some people that are watching movie or night. What can you give? What is the anointing of God when you enter the sanctuary? Nothing. Empty. Or movies. So, lovingly, Sunday evening, spend time to Lord in prayer. And Sunday morning, application for this is not as important. Maybe Simon will be preaching one day, and Philip will be preaching. Then what he is preaching, we're well, only to you and is uh, that them to increase. Sunday morning, Saturday evening, pray for him. What he is preaching, God pray. 
In other words, the men of God, the leaders, while they are being used by God, the word of God is penetrating to the listener, and God is doing the work of transformation in the inner man. So you can see how we work together. So service is not all already five of but we can know from Saturday begin to pray. Sunday morning while we're sitting down, Lord, because the word I want to be fed by the word of God. Whoever is standing behind the pulpit, maybe our sister generous teach, support Lord, bless that lady or uh, Eunice, Lord, bless her in the name of Jesus. Quietly while you're listening, there is synchronized movement of mind and then the heart. Praying together, it won't be long when the Holy Ghost will circulate this building and fill us with overflowing because that is His promise. When the people of God in Judaism invoke in unity, and then, sincerely, I tell you, God will move. It will happen, I declare, and you'll see what's going to happen. So evangelism was prayer. From 10 to 12, if you are not in evangelism, God bless you, do your thing. But what about every doing, washing or cleaning the toilet? Pray from 10 to 12, Lord bless them. Let the people listen, let the song penetrate to them. Continue from 10 to 12. Pray for those in the front line of Saturday's evangelism. That is partnership. And that is partnering with us. So we're excited there. And we are sustained, supplied, empowered power. Em empowered by the Holy Ghost. Because each one of you are praying for us. Let's begin to do that. I was blessed. This Olivia in the morning, the Sunday morning was there outside, way back and forth, early in the morning, you know, praying in, in tongues. I said, Olivia, Olivia, I'm so happy, I'm so blessed. She, I talked to her, you blessed me because when I see people praying in, in tongues, you turn to the Lord, that is a blessed to the kingdom of God. Pastor, I always do that, speaking in tongues outside, praying to the Lord. I love it. Use that. Saturday, I are there with us, and Saturday, 10 to 12. So church, let's do that. Support our members. Support my members. Our Wednesday church prayer meeting, be active. Some people, they hate prayer meeting because, you know, because they have their own agenda in the schedule. That's too long. You're just talking. You're praying so long. No. So, I want to tell you, if they are not interested, it won't be long, they'll be interested. The few, Page one continue to be there. And other people in the church will come eventually, especially you know, when we have that prayer meeting a little bit longer, maybe once a week, more prayer. So be active. So church, Acts 14, 9 to 30, cultivate prayer for power. That's number two. In miracles in the church. Cultivate, you want to cultivate, you just, she's good in the gardening. She knows when the grass are growing and some weeds. Pastor tells them to, to remove this kind of thing. I have my schedule to do that. When I say cultivate prayer for power, you are always in tune. You say, Lord, I pray for my brother, for my sister. I pray for my life. Manifest the power upon my life. Cultivate as you pray for us, Lord, use me. I'm just this moment. Oh Lord, my mind is in tune to you. Give me the power of prayer. And Lord, the second thing, please with me. Lord, let miracles will happen in my life. Let miracles happen in the church. Acts chapter 40, 9 to 30. And the believers, they gathered together. There was a big, a disciple of persecution. Lord, look at those people out there. The leaders. The influential, the elite. Lord, we pray. The whole nation, the people, Lord, is against you. But they were together. And then they prayed. I want to hear the word of Acts 40, 10 to 30. Lord, give us with all boldness to speak in God's word. So begin to pray, first of Lord, give me the boldness. The word of God wants to sink in into my heart. When I speak the word of God, it might be modulated, moderate tone. Once it released from your mouth, I want you to know, it will penetrate the word of God is active and people will listen. I cannot contain it. I feel like crying. Something is soft inside of me. Because of praying, boldness, it is speaking God's word. Apply to yourself. Lord, give me the book. 
That's my prayer. It, as if any time if I have an open door, I'll continue to serve Jesus. And then he goes on to say, prayer. And Lord, give us, give the church, give the leaders, give me a power to heal. And then signs and wonders will follow, may be done by the name of Jesus. In other words, God, whenever I mention the name of Jesus, give me boldness and power in miracles of healing. It is not only the pastor, the missionary, they give the papers of Lord. Give me the boldness, the power to heal, and signs and wonders will follow. And it will be done the moment I speak in the name of Jesus. Be he, it might be moderate voice or a strong voice. Lord, let's say Jesus, the tentacles, the control of darkness, the, the, the dark that is trying to oppress the person will run so fast because God you have given me the power to heal, signs and wonders to follow. That was the prayer of the New Testament church. All of them prayed. You know what happened? I almost there. The prayer are answered because of their requests, because of their unity, because of their passion to do the work of God. In the book of Acts 14 and 30, the answer of the Lord was the place where they are. There was an earthquake, it was shaken. And they were all full of the Holy Ghost. 30, they spoke, they speak the word of God, all of them, with boldness, lastly. And so, in the span of time, the whole Jerusalem received the doctrines of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the, you know, the, they were able to communicate to the whole place of Jerusalem because of boldness. Listen to me. Ordinary people experience the power of God in that it's available, available, available. To all of us tonight. That's the message. Receive that. And you are confident to that. I close now. Thank you, my boy. Our front line were on the moon. And logistics must work together. In one of the active ministry of the Word of God in the church is begin tonight, tomorrow, non stop. Pray for your leaders. We commit daily. Pray for us. And the emerging leaders, and we'll pray for you. I pray for you. Lastly, we need to be giving importance to pray together, in unison together, and worshiping the Lord together, and thanking God together. That's prayer. Because I believe that. One day when we pray, people will be in the presence of God two hours, three hours, worshiping God in the power of God and in the Holy Ghost. They don't know that He is there praying and thanking and crying for three hours, four hours. And I believe in this, that when we are praying together in unity, in simplicity, in faithfulness, passionate to God, I believe a big smoke of the presence of God will the be an earthquake. I stumble up to God. Your church is in, you know, powerful. <coughs> That's the part of God. Church of Christina, let's begin from this whole beginning and see the destiny of your life, of your family, in your world, in your influence, in the destiny of God's church, Christ in the nation ministry.